What is up, ladies and gentlemen? And today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Unity. And I will be talking a little bit about some comparisons between Syndicate and Unity as well, because I feel like that when it came to Syndicate, the parkour system in Syndicate, I felt like it was much better than Unity's. But however, with Unity's though, it's more, it's a little bit more intricate and more robustly designed than it was in Syndicate. But overall, Syndicate still had it really good magnanimously with the parkour systems. And there are two things that I will mention about the parkour system in Unity as well, though, that I do not like in Unity. And one of them in particular is the fact that it's the combat. Even though the combat is very, you really do have to master it and really have to time your attacks from enemies in this game. But however, I felt like that I always ended up getting hit no matter what, if I parried or not. I mean, either if I parried or not, but I constantly parried, but I ended up getting hit all the time. And that's one of the major things, or one of the minor things, that I thought that was wrong with the combat system in Unity. And another part of the minor uh, flaw that I also have with the Unity's parkour system is in fact that when you're trying to parkour, okay... Whether if you're going like up, you know, like clambering up a wall or or no matter where it is, okay. I always felt that even though that you're not parkouring, it still goes into the direction that you're you might eventually parkour up. But that's what I'm saying. It's like it kind of go the park with the parkour system in Unity. I felt like it was going all over the place. So it's like even though if you're not parkouring. It still wants you to parkour, and that's one thing I did not like about Unity as well. But overall, I still think that Unity is a great game. When this first, when this game initially first launched many years ago, this game was a technical mess. It had a lot of bugs, it had a lot of glitches. It it was not the most, it was not very well optimized. Let's just put it that way. But overall, like I said, now we are now in 2023, and what I will say is that Unity is that much better of a game than it used to be. But, you know, but despite all that, I still have the quirks of the parkour systems and the combat systems. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, I want to go more del I want to dive more into the comparison between Unity and Syndicate, and the reason why I say this is that with the parkour system in, in in Syndicate, I felt like that it was, it it's not as, it might not be as refined as Unity's, but overall, it's still, I felt like they had a, the parkour system in Syndicate was more, it was a little bit more intricately well, more, it was, intri it was very well intricately well designed, much like Unity's is, because I felt like you had better control in, in the parkour system in Syndicate, and while you still have the the control in the in Unity's parkour, but like I said, it's like it it, it feels like that it can go all over the place because it's like even though you're not trying to parkour, it but you're going up against the wall and then you're parkouring up and then that you, it's basically the game is basically telling is is not really telling you but it's basically just saying oh well I'm gonna parkour up instead rather than you going the other way when you're literally trying to run somewhere. And that's where, like I said, that's where I feel like that when the it comes to the parkour in Unity, it's a little bit of a clusterfuck. And part of my language, but it's how I feel about that. But either or, like I said, I think Unity is still a good game. It, it holds very well in today's standards of 2023 or even 2022 or 2021. However, but like I said, it still has a really, u a really unique, vibrant world of Perry or Paris. You know, and I think it's amazing. I love the, I love the world design. I like the, I like the way how this whole entire world of Paris really overshadows a lot of things within the world of, per of Paris and of Unity as well because it's a very robust era. I think, and that's where I was saying before in a previous video that you know when it comes to all the Assassin's Creed games, these games are fascinating in their own unique way because of the settings of these games you know it's remarkable that ubisoft is able to 
make these very intricately well-designed worlds of going back of an ancestor in a previous life. And, you know, like the Assassin and Templar thing, right? I think it's fascinating. And that's where, you know, there's one YouTuber that I actually do follow. And he pretty much said the same thing pretty much close to what I just said. He goes by Luke Stevens. And I do highly suggest you don't know, follow him on YouTube as well because, like I said, he he's very well uh, more he he is very much like me, and we have actually similar tastes when it comes to Assassin's, Assassin's Creed games because we're passionate to where how the systems are in the in these games and its combat mechanics, its parkour systems, and it's. Everything of what these me makes these games very well known to be and what they are and how these worlds are very well intricately well designed and I love that and I think that's where these games really puts you in a different spot in gaming history in a certain way in basically in handheld form and I think it's fascinating it's so it's so well apparent. And that's why I love these games as a whole. So, uh, now, another thing what I really want to discuss about Unity, though, too, is, like, I really think that Arnold Dorian in this game, that who you play as, as an assassin, he's, he's pretty good. But I, like I said before, I tried to do a video on this before, and I kind of screwed up. But, you know, I felt like when it came to Jacob and Evie and Syndicate, uh, those two protagonists in, in Syndicate, I felt like that they had better character progression than Arno's. Arno's. But however, I do believe that Arno did have good character progression as well. You know, playing that playing that assassin, you know, ranking up, you know, doing different, you know, being able to have some RPG elements in there as it were to where you are intricately, you have intricate designs of weapons and gear sets of what you really want to do in terms of either stealth or combat systems within Unity. And, you know, and Syndicate wasn't really much like that. It kind of was, but it wasn't. But I think in Syndicate, I felt like that it was a little bit better than Unity's. But however, you know, that's where these games really falter underlie and underlie themselves to where there's always going to be a different type of combat mechanics and how to utilize them in a very distinct and unique type of way. And it's, I just think it's really kind of cool of how far these Assassin's Creed games have come in in a matter of speaking in, in, in so many different types of ways as well, too. So that's one thing I do heavily agree on. So so like I said, Luke Stevens, like I said, follow him. I, he, I think he's really he's really good at what he does. He, I mean, he has... I mean, he does have one hell of a good following. And like I said, I really love his content. I really like the way how he just comes out with different types of, you know, interviews with some people. And he actually ended up in interviewing another YouTuber called So Says Jay. He actually did a very unique piece on Assassin's Creed Unity as well. And Luke Stevens actually ended up talking to him about Unity and its parkour systems and how it's kind of very somewhat differentiated from that of Syndicate or from the newer Assassin's Creed's like Odyssey, Valhalla, and Origins. But however, like I said, go and watch that. I think it's a very good, interesting piece, and I do highly recommend, like I said, watching that or listening to it and vice versa. Do what you want or do what you will. So what I want to do here, though, too, is that I really think that Unity does a lot of things greatly well done as well, other than, you know, my quirks and qualms of the minor flaws that I thought about Unity as well. But, you know, when it comes to Unity comparing that up to Syndicate, I just think that Syndicate in so many different manner of aspects just, they just did things a little bit better. In terms of its parkour. Like I said, even though that the parkour is really good and robust and very intricately well designed, of mechanically controlled of how you can parkour up or parkour down, but I just think that Syndicate just did a little bit better because, like I said, it felt to me in Unity it was a little bit of a clusterfuck because when you're literally trying to go in one direction, but Arno is like, accidentally like parkouring up a certain type of obstacle that's not what you want to do you're literally trying to run somewhere and be able to unlock like a viewpoint or you know like collect some do some collectible hunting and vice versa 
that's the thing that I'm trying to just say and be more descriptive on that part. But overall, I still think that Unity just does... It does a lot of things that I really wasn't really quite expecting in terms of everything of how far the parkour systems have really... are much more advanced in Unity that, or Syndicate for that matter. But what I will say is that I want to put in here too is that Origins, I felt like that had better parkour systems from that of Odyssey and Valhalla point being is because it was in my personal opinion i did feel like that in origins you do you did have a little bit of a controlled descent in a way and you know and parkouring up a little bit better than origin than odyssey and valhalla because in odyssey and valhalla the parkour systems in those games were not really heavily influenced in those games they were more heavily influenced more on the lines of more of its combat focus and that's where valhalla and odyssey do they they are a, they might be a little bit slightly better in terms of its of its own type of game but when it came to the you know because like i said you the parkour systems in odyssey and valhalla they were not heavily influenced like much as the combat was in those games so that's where i'm saying that's where i felt like that odyssey and valhalla were they did not feel like an assassin's creed game even though they kind of were to a certain type of a degree but in Odyssey, you didn't have a hidden blade. You did have a hidden blade, however, in Valhalla, and which I liked. But it was utilized very differently because when you play as, whether if you play as female Eivor or male Eivor, it was mounted above either, I think it was mounted above the left or right, no, it was mounted above the left wrist of your hand, or vice versa. No, not vice versa, that's wrong, I'm sorry. But you were able to assassinate that way, and that was very inter that was interesting. That was interestingly well designed. I like that. I like that concept. However, but when it came to Origins, you had that real Assassin's Creed vibe to it because you had that hidden blade. You were able to utilize that by assassinating people, and that's what I loved about Origins. Origins is. I just think that Origins was a much better RPG aspect in terms of its hidden blade concept and with its gameplay structure i think with the gameplay structure in comparing unities and to valhalla's and odysseys i just think that odyssey and valhalla just do the combat system just a little bit better than unities but however i think that like i said unity is still a really good game it knows what it's doing and you know, like like I said, if you want to be able to have, if you want to be really good at combat, I do highly suggest of you know going to combat all the time and practice yourself with by pairing, and the better off you will be, you will be masterful on the pairing system and be much better in combat. And I think that's a very well way of implementing that and or knowing what you want to do with that type of combat mechanic. So that's all I can say about that. But what I will put in here, though, too, it's like if, you know, if, if there's one thing I will say is that, I, like I said, Unity is still a great game. I do I do thoroughly enjoy it at some points. But like I said, it's just the combat and the parkour that I have a little problem with. But overall, it is what it is. So, but anyways, too much further ado. If you any have any comments or questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to reply back if and whenever possible. And you guys have a good rest of your night, day, or evening. And I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.